Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be predicting the entire RLCS World Championship for 2022 to 23. Now before I predicted wildcard, but that was on pick stop, it wasn't like a full predictions. This is going to be the entire event, my prediction for the whole thing with specific matches so that it's not more of a, oh, I think these are the best eight teams and more of a, oh, who would win in specific matchups. Although as I did with last predictions, there is a little bit of underdog. I could pick an underdog if I want to, just cause it's how I think things might go. And sometimes you don't always pick the favorites. So that said, uh, let's get straight into it. Um, I'm using Adam's core, Adam Core's spreadsheet again. I'll link him again in the description. He did an even better job this time. Uh, if you haven't seen these, he made holographic logos for every single team and they are just beautiful. He did an amazing job. Uh, <laughs> he always does an amazing job, but this is this is truly something. Here, I'll scroll to the wildcard team so you can see all the logos. And yeah, got all the teams, all the regions uh, organized in order of seed. So uh, the teams have already done the draft, uh, the wildcard teams, I mean. So the top eight wildcard seeds got to pick who they played. And they didn't pick exactly in the order of seeds, but it was roughly the same. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's get straight into it. Into the wild card. All right. Up first is Complexity versus Valiant. And I think this one's going to be pretty clear. I don't foresee uh, Valiant potentially winning a game, maybe. But I don't foresee them winning a series. Uh, these AI odds... I think they're not even fully accurate. I would give complexity higher than 93. It's not 100, but I mean, it might be like 95, 97. It's pretty high. Um, On to G2 Limitless. A similar story. I do think Limitless is a lot better than Valiant. I think they're the best team in the region, and it's not just like the best. Like, they're clearly the best team in, in Sub-Saharan Africa. But I think they also will be struggling to win a series. If they did win a series, that'd be... Uh, more likely a Valiant, but still like a surprise, potentially, depending on who they play. Um, I'm also going to give that one a sweep. Uh, moving right along, we got Moist Gaming Gladiators. Uh, I do like that the odds are better for Limitless, and the reason why is probably not with the AIs taking into account. It's that uh, Gaming Gladiators announced that they're going to make a roster change. LCT has already been kicked from the team, not for Worlds, but for After Worlds. And I understand what the team's going for. I think it's like the polite thing to do to give your teammate all that notice. But at the same time, they've kind of chalked their mentality. I think they're looking too far ahead and they've kind of, it's too short-sighted because uh, no matter how like um, nice everyone's been and however, if, even if they're still friends, there's gotta be a mental impact if you know you've been kicked. I just refuse to believe that won't impact them. Although they do have a world championship coach in Marky Duda, so. Maybe he'll be able to, to make that smoother sailing. We'll see. I'm going to give this one a sweep as well. Moving right along, we got Pioneers and Twisted Minds. And I think these AI odds are about accurate. I, Pioneers definitely has a chance of winning, but I think despite the seeding that you may see here, uh, 4 seed, 12 seed, I think uh, clearly Twisted Minds are the favorites. I'm surprised Pioneers picked them. Honestly, I would think they would have picked Secret or G1. Um, I'll talk about G1 in the very next series, so I don't even have to get to that. Let's just give this a score. I'm going to go through one with some minds. Moving right along, uh, we got G1 crew. Uh, G1 also had a roster change type thing. It's a little bit of the even worse than Gaming Gladiators. They were playing with a different player in an event, and although I've heard mixed things, someone in my comment section said that it was uh, just because Oli couldn't play in that event, but if Rise is to be believed, he said on a podcast that they thought they were out of Worlds, or at least some of their players thought they were out of Worlds, so they played in a tournament, a Rising Stars tournament, without Oli, with a different player, with Dying from Monaco. Um, I've talked about it in a video. It's pretty bad for them if that's true, and I Oli's mental is going to be chalked, because he was basically replaced like actually replaced and now they had to walk it back because they can't play with it. They have to play with their roster from all CS. They've already, they can't make an extra substitution. So I think their mental's chalked as well, but we'll see. I'll give us one to crew also in a three one. Moving right along, uh, perhaps one of the closer ones of this first round, but I still favor SSG. I would give secret a little better odds than that, but I favor SSG. I, I think that won't be too, too close. Next up is Oxygen Power. I think Power had to choose the lesser of two evils. I do think Falcons would be a tougher matchup than Oxygen, but I think Power still is gonna lose. I think, I uh, yeah, I think that's just a rough matchup for them. I, they they had two bad 
they didn't have a good choice. I mean, it was the lesser of two evils. And lastly is Falcons Elevate. And poor, Fa poor Elevate, I mean, <laughs> we're left with Falcons, probably the strongest team out of the eight that we're being picked from. So uh, unlucky for them. I'm not even sure they'll take a game. I'll probably be a sweep. All right, moving right along. We'll get more interesting matchups as we go. Like here, these are some interesting match matchups. Uh, I don't think Complexity Twisted Minds is too exciting. I do think Twisted Minds is good, but Complexity I would have as one of the better teams in the entire event. Um, they potentially, you know, in terms of skill, could be in that top eight that Auto moved on, but but because of they're obviously, you know, in the weaker region and FaZe didn't make the major, um, they're not. They're here in the wild card. They are the first seed in the wild card, though, and they, they are for a reason. So I think I'm going to give this to Complexity. We'll call it 3-1. Moving right along, we have uh, G2 and Oxygen. Now, this one is interesting. Uh, I like the AI odds here. I think that's about accurate. It really is like a coin flip. I think it could go either way. That said, um, back when I did my, uh, before the major, I did a top 10 teams out of the major, I had G2 over Oxygen. However, especially after the major and looking back at how the splits went, uh, I think G2 had a worse split than even I thought at the time because they, were, they didn't lose, or sorry, they didn't beat a single team at this World Championship last split except for Space Station. And all their losses were to teams that aren't here at the World Championship. Yeah, they were good teams. They were losing to Furia. They were losing to Optic. They lost a lot to Optic. But Optic and Furia didn't make Worlds. And so when G2 is losing to teams that aren't even at the World Championship, I it's just not looking good. Um, and losing to teams that are like much lower level, like they, they lost to Sup in the spring split, so... We'll see, but I would favor Oxygen here. I, I think it was just, it, it's not, and it's not just that Europe dominated the Spring Major. This isn't just a reaction to the Spring Major. Uh, I think, um, I, I think, uh, well, I guess it is a reaction to the Spring Major, really, but I, I think that I've changed my mind on how that type of matchup will go. Because as if I had seen this before the Spring Major and this was happening, I would have picked you two. And it, I still think G2 could take the, could take the series. I, like I said, I'd call it like 50-50, but it flipped the odds. Like I think Oxygen would be the favorite there. And I do think they'll take it. All right, next up is Moist Space Station. Now, I think both these teams would beat both of G2 and Oxygen, but that's not the way oh, the Swiss works sometimes. They're playing each other. And I, would, I think Moist would be the favorite, although it will be a close match. I think Space Station is quite good. Um, but yeah, let's move along. Don't want to make this too long. Next up is Falcons and Crew. Again, not a lot to talk about. I think Falcons... Actually, I guess there is a lot to talk about. Crew is good, but they had a somewhat poor spring major. That said, they lost to teams that placed in top four and top six. They lost... Or, uh, rule one, yeah. Fourth place, rule one, and they lost to Gen.G that got top six. So they had some really tough opponents that I wouldn't hold it too much against them. And I feel like had the rules reversed and they won that game five, or was it game five? Might have even been a four game series, but had they won their series against Rule 1, I think they could have made that a similar run to what Rule 1 did. That loss just put them in a much tougher bracket, which is props to Rule 1. It was a very important series to win. Um, that said, they did lose to Rule 1, and I think Falcons is going to have bounced back in this off time and, and come back into this major stronger. So I'm going to give it to Falcons. AI even has it at 50 50, and I feel like that's pretty accurate, by the way. All right. Moving on to the lower round, we got Pioneers Val uh, Valiant. I think that this is overvaluing -val Valiant, but I I do think Pioneers are coming in, despite as the one seed of OC, I think they're the weaker team from, from Oceania. They don't even have a coach. When I noticed this, I thought it was insane. They're the only team in the Worlds event, not even the wild card, like all of Worlds. They're the only team without a coach. You don't need a coach in Rocket League. Not, you don't. But... Coaches really help with mental, especially on a stage of the World Championship, and I feel like not having a coach is going to hurt them. Not in this series, though. I do think they can take it against Valiant, and uh, they could take a game. You know what? I think of all the teams take a game, we'll say Valiant takes a game from Pioneers, because Pioneers, when they're on, they're on. In fact, I feel like this could be 3-1, but Pioneers wins by like a 20-goal differential. Like, they could really pile on in their wins, but then they lose one close match. That's like the type of team Pioneers is, and that's the kind of thing that can happen. Uh, I mean, if you lose a game, they could even swing. Uh, they're not going to lose to Valiant. But this is the kind of team without a coach that could, you know, in the future against a, a stronger team than Valiant, take a loss, and like, it affects their mental. But anyway, 
moving on, uh, now we got Power vs. Gaming Gladiators. Uh, I would have Power here. I've talked about what uh, the problems may be with Gaming Gladiators, and we'll see how it goes, but I'm not expecting much. Um, we'll see, though. I mean, they could prove me wrong. It's like uh, I read on Reddit, I think someone called it like a, a divorce period, because people like to call it honeymoon periods when a team's all new. <laughs> this is like a divorce period where they're about to break up. We'll see. I don't think that's going to make them be more successful, but maybe it spurs them on to success. And I do think they're all remaining friends. I don't think there's any animosity. And like I said, having, because we just were talking about coaches, they have Marky Duda, a world champion, as their coach. So it's entirely possible that that will help a lot with the mental. He'll be there to support the three of them and make them, you know, play as well as they can. We'll see what happens. I still would favor power there. Next up is Limitless Secret. Um... It's funny, AI is favoring Limitless a bit more than a lot of people would a Sub-Saharan African team. They definitely could win a series, but I don't think it'll be this one. I do think they'll take a game, and I think this is a much more likely game than even Valiant, for example. I just don't want teams to go winless in games, so we'll see what happens. Next up is G1 Elevate. Spicy. I think it's funny that the AI is favoring G1 so heavily here, probably because the AI doesn't take into account that whole roster kerfuffle they had. So we'll see what happens. And Atomic is really good. I don't want to underrate the roster. All three are amazing players, but they looked worse ever since they dropped Mark by eight. And they had a poor winter major even with Mark by eight, and they've looked worse since. And now with the whole roster shuffle thing, I think that this is a prime, this is a prime upset moment. And I think Elevate can take it. it will be uh, Apex first win against Europe. The fact that they took a game off Vitality goes to show you that a team that's not fully settled in, because Vitality hasn't settled in yet, if G1's not fully settled in yet, uh, and they totally might not be if they've lost a crew, I could totally see Elevate taking that. All right, moving right along. Next up is Complexity and Oxygen. Um, I think Complexity takes this. I already talked about how I thought both Moist and SSG would beat these teams, and I think Complexity is right up there with Moist and SSG. Um, Oxygen's good. But they had a poor spring split, and they were facing tough competition, but Complexity is just up there with that tough competition. I mean, they beat Liquid, and Oxygen was not beating Liquid in spring, so I favor Complexity there. Better than these odds would show. All right, next up, Moist Falcons. I do like Falcons in this, as I was saying, but there's definitely going to be like a, a peak they can achieve, and I don't know if they can peak. Their peak would beat Moist, but I don't know if they're going to get there in wild cards. I think they're going to peak later on in the event. So I'll have Moist take this one, but we'll call it game five. Um, yep, all right, moving right along. Uh, this is a good matchup for G2 because there's a lot of teams they might lose to here, but I do think they'll they'll do the job against Elevate. I'll give Elevate another game though. Uh, next up is Crew and Secret. Oh, the Sand matchup. You know, a lot of people are favoring Secret after Crew's potentially poor um, spring split, but I've already talked about why I don't think it was that poor despite getting last place. And additionally, Secret has been good on land, but they just, they looked much weaker than Crew in, in spring and Crew beat them at the at the winter major. So they've already had this head-to-head -head matchup, Crew won it. I think it'll be another game five, but I would favor Crew to win it again. An AI, I guess, matches that. I, I would though. All right, next up, SSG Pioneers. I think this is an easy matchup for SSG. I think they are the epitome of a of a rotational team. All three players, no one's super flashy. They all rotate well. They play together like a team. Pioneers does that too, but they're a little looser. They're a little more pop-off potential. But, it, but when you're facing a defensive, solid team like SSG, I don't think they're going to do very well. All right, next up is Twisted Minds Power. Oh, this is where it gets spicy because... Um, power almost beat rule one. When I say almost beat, they got a reverse swept. So they were on the precipice of winning in a sweep and then rule one pulled it back and even th I think threw home of Brazil in the game five. So we'll see. It's funny because I think that the land experiences might be the difference here. Now two of three players on Twisted Minds have played in RLCS lands. SNW went to Worlds last season. Senzo went to Worlds and the Fall Major last season. But uh, their third player, Venom, has not played on a land before, at least not an RLCS land. Whereas all of Power is very experienced. They're all land vets, multiple lands, including getting win, uh, win, you know, to glitch worlds at the last major, the most recent major. So recent RLCS land experience. Uh, 
this is a bit, you know, I think these odds are accurate, which means that, you know, a decent chunk of time power to win, even if perhaps Twisted Minds might be the favorites. But I think these odds are like in a vacuum. And I think if you put them on land, it goes a little more to 50-50. So I, I, what I mean is it definitely could go either way, but given the whole land, uh, the land environment this will be on, I think I'll pick power here. It really could go either way. I'll pick, I'll give it a game five to reflect that. All right, next up is G1 and Valiant. This is interesting. Um, I, I've talked about why I think G1 is going to be playing poorer, but I think I still think these odds are accurate because really Valiant is just going to be the weakest team and it's going to be a struggle for them. Um, I'll, I'll be excited to see. I mean, this will be their first time on land. They're all rookies. And, you know, sometimes there's that land magic and people just pop off. But this is this is probably going to be the end of the road for Valiant. Next up is Limitless Gaming Gladiator. This is very exciting because I think this is a match where Limitless could win. And it would be their first win that wasn't, like, tainted, as it were, by a sub. Because last season, a uh, Sub-Saharan Africa team beat Gaming Gladiators. But last year, Gaming Gladiators had to play Worlds with a sub. So it wasn't the same thing. This time, no sub at all. Gaming Gladiators is full strength, but as I've talked about, they are kicking a player, so are they full strength? I think it might affect them, and I think this would be the series where it does. So, I think Luminous will surprise us. I think they're going to play better than people expect, and because this is the best, like, this is the best Sub-Saharan Africa may ever produce. I mean, to die for, people think he could play in, a, in NA or AU. He's, like, the best player in Sub-Saharan Africa by a mile. And his two teammates are the most proven players in Sub-Saharan Africa. They got that win last season I'm talking about. So it's a really solid squad. And I would be, I think this is a series they could win for sure. Whether or not they will, we'll see. Maybe these odds, we'll call it these odds, 55-45. All right, moving along. Now we have teams that are out. We have teams that are in. We'll keep going. Next up is Falcons Power. I think Falcons are the favorite here. I like these odds. I'm going to call it a 3-1. Next up is Oxygen Crew. This could go either way. It really could. I I like Crew. I think Sam's good. But if Oxygen's in this position and they've beaten G2 and they've beaten Power, hmm. it could go either way. Actually, I'm going to favor Crew because I feel like Crew's coming in off that 3-2 win over their Sam Serum rivals. And I think it, that, that's going to power him through. But it could go either way. Next up is G2 Space Station. I think these odds are wrong. I think Space Station is the big favorites. They were the one seed out of in Spring Split for a reason. And although they didn't like do fantastic at the Spring Major, they still did all right, only losing Game 5 uh, to Gen G and also losing to Carmen Corp. And although I would have favored them before Spring Major against Gen G, at the end of the day, Game 5 against the LAN, like a team that dominates on LAN, Gen G, not a huge deal. Um, I would favor Space Station here quite a bit, so 3-1. All right, next up, Twisted Minds and Limitless. A lucky match for Twisted Minds because it's effectively a free win. Not a free win. You know what? I'll give Limitless a game, but I think Twisted Minds would be the favorites by far. In fact, probably more than this. Maybe about that, but probably more. I, I mean, it's pretty clear it would be Limitless. All right, next up, Secret G1. I don't think these odds are right at all. I think this... Again, because of situations that would be outside of the AI's knowledge, uh, this is going to be a close matchup. And I think Secret could take it because I think that whole roster like shift is going to affect G1 a lot. I really think it will. We'll see, but I think it's going to affect them more than some people realize. And then next up, Pioneers Elevate. I really like this. Uh, the reason I really like this is because this is a pretty realistic scenario to give Elevate a second win. Whether or not their first win against G1 was realistic, who knows. But this is pretty realistic. And the reason why is I've talked about the weaknesses of Pioneers. They're playing without a coach. They didn't make the Spring Major. And they did really poor at the Winter Major. So I think that the weakest point of their season, despite playing with a sub in two of the last three regionals, they had to play with a sub in day three of both regional two and three. That said, in Spring, I mean, in, in OC. That said, I think this could go Elevate's way. And maybe this is a little bit of bias showing through, but I'm going to give them love. I'm going to give them a win. Another Game 5 win for Elevate. And now, 
Wow. These are unlucky matchups for a few teams in particular. Mo these two, most notably. I think both these teams could have qualified onto top eight, but now one of them's getting out. And probably the uh, lucky, the lucky duck in this situation is power because although I've talked up Elevate and I do think they could get themselves in this situation, they would always be the underdogs here. In fact, the odds are probably gonna be less than that. I'd give Elevate still like a 30% chance of winning, but you'd the clear favorites would be power. And that's probably how this would go. But I'll give them a, another game. And if this does happen, this would be the best performance by Elevate. It would be so good for APAC. They got two wins, one over OC, one over EU. And losing out here would be disappointing for them, I am sure, but a season to be proud of nonetheless. Uh, let's go up. We're going up from the bottom this time around. Next up is Oxygen Twisted Minds. I think these odds are a little more skewed than it would really be, but I do think Oxygen would be the favorites. Oxygen are so up and down. They could throw. In fact, I think they could get tilted. Uh, we'll see. I really, this is riding high off just how Rule 1 did, but if Rule 1, if the, if Rule 1 Spring Major really is indicative of the region and it wasn't like a fluke, not that it was a fluke, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't Rule 1 just being good at LAN, and if it was just that's how they play and that's how the region, good the region is now, then Twisted Minds can win this. So I'm going to give it Twisted Minds, but... I think it's go cool either way. I, I this is pretty much a coin flip. Maybe favoring Oxygen 60-40. All right, next up is G2 Secret. And although it's <laughs> the odds are favoring G2 according to the AI odds here, I think Secret could win it. Um, I think Secret would be the favorites to win it if I'm being honest. I think this would be a classic G2 thing to do, to do pretty decent but end up losing at the last moment. And I mean, they got some lucky matches. I mean, if you look, I mean, they played Elevate, they played Limitless. So I do think they would lose this. It would be close though, and they could win, but I would favor Secret. This is some interesting results here. I've probably outdone people's expectations by knocking out so many EU teams and knocking out an NA team as well. Um, but yeah, it could easily go this way. Uh, uh, like I said, power, I'm not actually expecting, but that's just the way the bracket went, and that's how it goes sometimes. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but it happened. It, that's just how it goes. Probably, I mean, a lot of this is to do with the fact that I had power over Twisted Mind, but that I really do think that could go that way, so we'll see what happens. Next up is the groups. And wow, we've got some interesting matchups here. I think the most interesting is BDS Moist, perhaps. Um... But I also feel like Falcon's phase. Ooh, that's that's an intriguing one. You got Complexity Rule One. Is that a rematch? That is a rematch. Okay. Uh, I would if I if this was happening live, and you know you had to pick and choose what to watch. Watch the rematch. This is gonna be a good match. And this would be a good match, and this would be a good match. They all would be good matches, but those would be the ones I'd highlight. All right, let's go down from the top. I do think Carmine Corp is the clear favorite here. I don't know. Are these best of fives? I've been doing it like it's best of five, but maybe these are best of sevens. I don't know. I'm going to assume they're best of sevens for this part. It's not going to be game seven. I, oops. But I will give them a game in a, in a, in a best of seven. Uh, next up is BDS Moist. BDS is clearly the favorites here, but I have it as a match to highlight for a reason. I do think Moist could give him a challenge. Next up is Liquid Crew. I Liquid are the favorites here, but I think Crew will give him a run for their money. Then we have Nip Space Station. I favor Space Station here. Ninja Pajamas are good, by the way, and they they earned the one seed out of the region, but it was really close with Crew and they only got one win <laughs> in the Spring Major. So it's probably the weakest the one seed out of Sam has looked in a long time. So, uh, but that said, I mean, I did get three South American teams here and somehow I just realized they all ended up in the same group, um, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I do think South America could do well again at this event, just like last year. But I don't know which of the three, it could be any of them. 
Oh, okay, spicy, spicy. It's crew and nip. I will pick. I'm gonna pick crew. I think ninjas in pajamas would do better. Could do better, but I think I think crew's gonna be the favorite too. I just I feel like they're Drew Fino is just so good, and and I really think he can carry his team to some success in this land. But we'll give it a game seven just for the storyline. Next up is Moist Secret. I'm gonna pick Moist, but Secret put up a good fight across this event, uh, and they shouldn't be disappointed going out in groups. Although of course they always will be. All right, K Court BDS. I really like BDS, and but beating them in, at Spring Major, I, I don't know. There's always this thing where they trade wins a lot, and at, because BDS beat them at Spring Major, I feel like K Corp would take this. But it's always it's gonna be close as their series always are. Actually, K Corp hasn't won a game seven, so I'll make a game six more. <laughs> More realistic. But it's just a fun fact, by the way. I learned this the other day. Carmi Corp has never won a game seven this season. Last season, that I think that happened, but not this season, which is so wild to me because they've won so many series. But I guess if they've won a, a like a, like a tied series in the last game, it's only been game five. So they just have not gone the distance and won in a game seven, in a seven game series. Just a random fact. All right. Next up is Liquid Space Station. I like these odds. I feel like this is accurate. Liquid would be favored to win, but Space Station could pull out the upset. I think I'll give it to Liquid here, but it's a close series. And then next up, wow, we got SSG Moist. I think these odds are also accurate. SSG is a little bit closer than with Liquid, but Moist still the favorite. But this time, I'm gonna go upset. I'm gonna say Space Station ends up taking it. Which I'll make this. No, 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 I don't want to like that. Uh, uh, nah, game seven, game seven. But I could see Space Station taking that. It could go either way. Then BDS Crew, I think this is BDS's to take. Uh, which is disappointing that all three Sam teams end out here, but it, it could easily go a different way. But actually, this is just brutal. This is really brutal for Crew and Nip if this happens because. Then the loser has to play whoever loses, sorry, the winner has to play whoever loses K Corp BDS, and I feel like that's a death sentence. So for these teams, you really want to win your first series, I think. In much better odds of making it through, in my opinion. Alright, next up, Genji Power. This is pretty clearly a Genji win, I'd say. Power was lucky to make it here. Then we got Rule 1 Complexity. This, like I said, this is a rematch. It could go either way. I think it's going to go complexity's way this time, but I'm not counting out rule one at all. This really could go either way. Wait, oh wow. So wait, all three South American teams on one group and all three Middle East teams in the other group. If this actually happens, that would be nuts. Next up, we got Vitality Twisted Minds. I don't know if it's that high, but it could be because Vitality is that good. And I think this will be the first sweep of the groups. Then we got Falcon's Phase. We haven't seen FaZe in so long, so I don't even know if that if the odds would really be that much favoring FaZe, but I do think FaZe is the favorites. I do think FaZe is the favorites. Which sets up some interesting situations down here. Um, I do think Rule 1 would win this against Power. But here, this is tough. I think Falcons with the land experience will take it out. But Twisted Minds put up a good fight to get here. And they could win. Like, Twisted Minds have beat Falcons in, in the spring region, like, in the spring uh, split, I should say. They they got second place, what was it, all three regionals, I think, or two of the three or something crazy. They got second place overall, I know, in the spring split. So they've beaten Falcons multiple times. They could do it again here. I just think Falcons is the favorite on lane. All right. And then, then we got, ooh, Gen G Complexity. I like these odds, too. It's pretty much 50-50. I do think Gen.G just pro proved last land that they are the favorites though. I'd probably put them as favorites, but we'll call it game seven. That's very close. Vitality phase. I think this is pretty clearly Vitality. Oh wait, does this affect, if I put games, does this affect the AI odds? I don't think it does. Nope, I don't think it, oh it does, it does, it does. That's 52, and if I make it one, that's 51. I think, I, I like that. I like that the game actually impacts these odds. 
And I do think that Vitality will win pretty dominantly here. And I think these are pretty accurate. I would probably favor rule one in the 5149, and I'm gonna pick them to win. But I think FaZe is gonna put up more of a fight than many might have expected coming off, you know, missing the spring major. And the fact that they miss out is honestly just more of a a, uh, a, a showing how stacked these groups really are. Because I feel like in another situation they could have beaten, they could have potentially made the major if they were playing different teams, you know? They just, one of their matches was against, one of their losses was Vitality. That's like an insta loss. But yeah. All right, last one, Falcons Complexity. This is tough, but I do think Complexity would be the favorites. I will give it a game seven though. I think uh, this would be just really disappointing for Falcons to finish the exact same place they did last season at Worlds. But I think Complexity has just proven how strong they are on land and Falcons hasn't looked as strong since a year ago, a spring spring major last uh, year. So I don't think they'll do, I don't think they'll win this series. It could go either way, but I feel like these are pretty accurate odds. Well, maybe a little too much on Complexity, but Complexity are the clear favorites. All right. In fact, in fact, I don't even know if it'll... I'll call it Game 6, but it could go Game 7, but I think the odds are pretty accurate. All right. Now we have playoffs. We're down to our last eight, and I like these. I actually like these matchups. I think it's good that none of the EU teams are playing each other. I think that that's good for some inner rival matchups. We got NA versus EU in three of them, and then we got the, the one Mina team. And just because it definitely could happen, I feel like a lot of these odds have been surprisingly accurate. I think Rule 1 could win this. I think Liquid may be the favorites, but Rule 1 just got top four last LAN. Why not do it again? They definitely could. They easily could. They could do it again. Then we got, I, I skipped over, K Corp Complexity. It's a rough matchup for Complexity. I think... I think that they, funnily enough, would be better off playing Vitality because they've shown they can beat Vitality, even though they obviously they lost, but due to a miss at zero seconds, I think they would have all the mentality they'd be ready to beat Vitality, but coming up against K Corp, I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. I think they're gonna go home disappointed, but to put up a good fight to make top eight, but I think their road ends there. Then we got BDS Gen G. Hmm. This is tough. I think these odds are a little too high on BDS, but BDS would be the favorites. And I feel like if they are the favorites, then it's fine for me. <laughs> they're one of my favorite teams, by the way, but I do think it's fine for me to pick them, even though they're my favorites, just because they would be the favorites. And it might not be as high as that. It probably wouldn't be. The odds wouldn't be that high, but, you know, 60-40 BDS Gen.G, so... We'll give it BDS, we'll call it a game seven. Then Space Age of Vitality, probably the more lopsided of all these quarterfinals. I think you favor Vitality here. All right, now we got some matchups. I think these odds are a little high on Vitality. Obviously Vitality are the favorites. Um, they're high, but they still are the favorites. And I think it would be another disappointing series for BDS and it's funny because that's top four at Worlds, but that's not that's not going to be enough for them. I know they're all going to be disappointed with that if it did happen. Then Rule 1, K Corp. Uh, it's good for Rule 1 to be getting so far so early. I think they have a lot more time to develop and potentially, who knows where, where Nopo is going to go, or I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but NWPO, Nopo, Nopo. He's like going to be the best player in Mina, and so whoever picks him up is probably going to do really well. So we'll see. Maybe they pick him up next season, but that's what I'm getting at is next season because I think this is the end of the road for Rule 1. Although another top four is another feather in their cap. It's a really good run, uh, and there's no shame. I'll even give it a game seven. No shame losing the Carmi Court in Rule 1, even if it was a sweep. Um, mm, yeah, game seven. All right. Then K Corp Vitality. I'm going to go a little surprise here, and just because <laughs> I don't want to jinx, or I don't want to jinx either team, but I think K-Corp could pull it off. It would be crazy, but I think they could do it. I, I just, it's not that Vitality can't win again, it's that it's just incredibly hard to win so many events in a row, and the mental, 
not that it'll be bad. I just feel like they could be drained. They were drained at the spring major and they still won, but they, <laughs> through some magic, uh, Farah, you know, speech, he, they managed to get the crowd on their side and that really like ramped them up. I think they could get drained again and it's just a really long, it could be a long day, it's a long event. I don't know if they can do it again. They probably will, but I'm gonna pick K-Corp here. And I think, I do think Vatira will be a world champion and it definitely could be this year. It could be this event. So he's gonna be a world champion one day and why not right here? I, I think Carmen Corp will, will pull it off. I, I would favor Vitality in the series, but that's what I'm getting at. It's even if it's like 60-40, I think this will be Carmen Corp's day and they're gonna take it. They've already beaten Vitality once, so they could definitely do it again. All right, and that's it. That's our event. So. These are the final results here. I uh, can't see, Whoop. maybe that's right. Yes, final results. Take a look at that. I got K-Corp, Vitality, Team BDS, Rule 1, Gen G, Liquid, Complexity, Space Station in my top eight. Then I got Face Clan, Moist, Falcons, Crew, Nip, Twist and Lens, Power, and Team Secret out at 9th through 16th. And then teams I had not making it out of wildcard were G2, Oxygen, Elevate, G1, Pioneers, Limitless, Gaming Gladiators and Valiant. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. We passed 100 subscribers, so thank you everybody who helped me get there. Uh, and the next goal is 200, so we'll see how long it takes to pass 200. Uh, definitely subscribe if you want to, you know, help the channel along, and we'll see how how quickly we can reach our goal. Uh, and yeah, that'll finish out the video. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, leave down a comment below if you disagree, if you like the rankings, or what you think, uh, how you think it'll go differently. I am sure I've picked something different than what you guys would pick, so make sure to let me know how wrong I am, and we'll see how it goes down at the World Championship on August 3rd. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.